And now, Burger Balls presents AOD Arena of Destruction 2010. Hello everyone, welcome to AOD 2010. I am Astra. I am Mr. Luck. And uh, well, this is a nice new concept for YouTube. Finally, AOD returns and arrives on YouTube for the first time. And the last episode, of course, was uh, three years ago. Yes, where Spike, City, where Spike City went all the way to win the championship, being Jaws of Hell in a very controversial battle. Yes. So basically, 64 robots will compete this series, which will be held over the year, where only one will be crowned AOG champion of 2010. So let's go straight to our first match, shall we? Very much so. And welcome to the first round and the first match of the first heat of AOD 2010. As Gonzalez takes on Lansing 2, so let's go and see our competitors for today. Well, up first is Lansing 2, 98 kilos is a very heavy machine, but well, it's been in Robot Wars before, it's been in AOD before, it entered in 2007, was eliminated in the heat semi-finals, armed with a scup, a bucket scoop, it's got, got a lot of traction, you remember, with those, with those um, very good uh, tracks. And now over to UX Death to introduce the other robots. This is Gonzalez, who's a very fast robot. Uh, costs £3,220 to make. Weight of 75... No. 57. Weight Never. of 57 kilos. Uh, Strict... Um, and I think this one will be a very good competitor for this match. Problem is weak armament and no weaponries, but the, the power, it doesn't have any power, but it's quick. Yes, and very that quick. Could, and Lansing 2, I think, is a very slow machine. But anyway, we'll see how this goes. Anyway, let's see the problems with the arena. There it is, the floor flame, the flames, of course, on the side of the arena can be very dangerous. And there's the arena floor flipper. Remember last... Remember, three years ago, Jaws of Hell made it all the way to the past and was eliminated by that same thing. The pit has, well, seen many fates of robots over the past few times, and so has the flame pit for that matter. And of course, the deadliest of them all, the house robots. You get in there, you'll get killed. And there's no deadlier than circular lock. Yes, definitely. Many matches have been decided max to secure lot. Sorry about to start match off. Some of these rolls are untested. Look, 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 there's Gonzalez there. The speed of Gonzalez shoves in. Look at that from Gonzalez shoving in there. He's a quick machine. Yeah, though. very much so. That's, 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 that's very bad at turning. Yes, speedy. There's the speedy man, Gonzalez. It's a nice little match there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all about. It's all about positional play at the moment. Oh, oh what a hit! hit. Oh, and nearly, nearly Gonzalez! Nearly flipped! Well, Lansing 2, now Gonzalez! Come on, push your seat! Oh! oh. He's going up! No, oh, he's up! Gonzalez has been flipped by Lansing 2! He's Lansing, Lansing 2! Oh, Gonzalez is. Lansing all shoves him in the shunt! Now, shunt can do some damage to him. Gonzalez get back on his feet. No Shremek, remember, from Gonzalez. No weaponry at all. And Gonzalez has been flipped by a very good Lansing 2. And the House Rebels comes in, it's over. Lansing 2 is through to the Heat City Files. What a first round match. And Gonzalez has been defeated. Now it comes to the House Rebels, just like monsters here. Until they're on her side a few times. What a match that was, and what a win for Lansing 2. What a match. Great win for Lansing too there. Gonzalez had the had the good beginning, you've got to admit. Like, yes, Gonzalez had the so. very good beginning. But Lansing 2 still moved on. There was that one flip that, that won cost, it. Yeah, that cost us. That cost Gonzalez. Gonzalez there eliminated near enough a minute. That was a very interesting match. It was a battle of tactics there. It was a tactical battle and it ended within a minute and 20 seconds. Within 70 seconds. A great win there for Lansing 2, we'll see here in the next round, and he will face the winner of our next match. Okay, here we go, round 2. Or our second match, I say, which next step. Uh, yeah. 
It is Mola going up against our current reigning champion, Spike City. Let's introduce the robot, shall we? And first up is Mola, unseated here. 75 kilos, costs nearly 10,000 pounds. And why? Because that pneumatic claw and the pincers. So basically, the pincers will claw, and then the claw will come down to crush them. This is like a three way triangle of it destruction. Is. It's a very good design, and I say if there's any robots who shot the champions, it'll be Mola. And here we go, Spike City, the champion of 2007. And he was very good in that. that, that it was historic, wasn't it? A historic moment, uh, what happened in 2007. It costed £9,335 to build and the weight of 152 kilos. This, this is going to be interesting. The heaviest robot in the tournament, 152 kilos of power. And there's no, there's nothing better on the arena floor than Spike City. So we're about to begin this. I, I, I want to see how Mola gets on because that, that claw and everything is worthless until he can get rid of the spikes. And that will probably take a while. It's going to be interesting. It is going to be interesting. And again, here we go, Spike City. Shoves in there on Mola. Mola, Mola gets the claw down. But, oh, look at the damage Dam cause! Oh, God. Damage cause there! Spike City just pounding away! Look at the damage caused by the number one seed! And now gets underneath Mola! And shoves him! Just shoves the Sarge! Shoves into the Sarge! Yeah, the Sarge goes back into his corner. Mola! Oh, there's nothing that's left of Mola, to be honest! I mean, Mola, good machine design, but against anyone other Spike City? No. Mola, by the way, that, that claw is still down. Yeah, it's jammed. It's it's jammed. And walking. now the robot is ricketing, you see. Or he was. Spike City's a slow machine, and that's probably what Mola's going for. Oh, but no, Spike City catches Mola. Oh, look, there's nothing left of him now. Nothing's left. He's ricketing. You see the robot base ricketing around. Mola! He's in a heap of trouble here! He's ricketing around the air floor, damage to the Spike City though! Oh god, the robots come in! I think Mola's done! I think Spike City's done it! What a win for the champion! What an impressive victory for the champion! Well, not me. Oh, look at this! We know the history between these two! Spike City defeated Sir Killlot in a 1 on 1 match in 2006, and what a win for Spike City! That was a powerful victory. That was a very good victory. Spike City wins and Mola eliminated one minute and nine seconds. But to be honest, I don't think Mola had much of a chance against that. Against the monster that Spike City. Spike City done very well. However, that could be a problem with Spike City. He's slow. And that could be the problem with Spike City. We don't know. But anyway, so our second round will be Spike City, who takes on Lansing 2. That'll be a good match, I feel. Yes. The flipper. Can that flipper lift up? nearly 160 kilos of humanity, if he can, or robot power, if he can, then we could find ourselves with a giant killer. Anyway, it's off to our next match now.